Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today's video was on uh, Simon Cowell, who's an English TV presenter known for judging on shows such as Pop Idol, The X Factor and Britain's Got Talent. So Simon reportedly went vegan sometime around April 2019. Before this he was known as an avid meat lover. His personal chef would prepare him sausage rolls, hamburgers and his favourite jam tarts wherever he went. Lucky boy. So in October 2017, he had a pretty nasty fall down some stairs, which saw him rush to the hospital amid his unhealthy lifestyle. A doctor apparently told Simon he had many food allergies and he was recommended to speak to an expert. He immediately, quote, cut out the things he shouldn't be eating, including meat, dairy, wheat and sugar. Now fast forward to this year, May 2020, Simon told The Sun newspaper that he's considering releasing a diet book featuring his favourite plant-based recipes. I only eat good stuff. And skinny beer. Which is really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm, I might, might even write a book about it called It's Not That Difficult. Really? I swear. Not that difficult, hey? Now it's publicly known that Simon Cow was a huge dog lover. In 2016, he told The Sun, I love my dogs so much. I take them on holidays, I let them sleep in the bed, and sometimes one gets in the bath with me. With Simon's love for dogs comes his vehement opposition of the infamous and cruel dog meat trade. In 2016, he supported a campaign to ban the dog meat festival in Yulin, China, describing it as sickeningly cruel. He also backed a petition in 2018 along with nearly 100 other celebrities urging Indonesia to end its dog meat trade. These animals, many of them stolen pets, are subjected to crude and brutal methods of capture, transport and slaughter and the immense suffering and fear they must enjoy is heartbreaking and absolutely shocking. In 2018, he donated 25,000 pounds to close a dog meat farm in South Korea. Uh, I've just found out how many dogs you saved through the campaign you launched. I want to say a big thank you to you guys, a massive important to all the viewers who supported our campaign or your campaign. Uh, Happy New Year, and my little buddy wants to say something. Happy New Year. And? And Thank you for saving those doggies. Now look, I appreciate Simon's love for dogs and his work in raising awareness against their cruelty, so I don't want to take that away from him, but I do want to highlight some of the absolute hypocrisy and double standards in his moral stance against certain species of animals. So in this May 2020 interview, he states he's been eating vegan and feeling much better, but still eats fish. Because I lost three stone in six months. Now, is it a vegan diet? Mainly. Well, actually, well, I know it. I, I do eat fish. Right. So, so you're a pescatarian. Uh, yeah, so um, it's a combination of all things together, uh, but look, it does work and it's not difficult. Do you feel better for it? Oh, God, yeah, mentally and physically. You and I. Well, Simon, last time I checked, fish are intelligent animals who want to live. And as quoted from this 2015 paper on fish sentience, the body of evidence strongly suggests that fish are sentient and the evidence that they are capable of feeling pain in a manner similar to humans is gradually mounting. Approximately one to three trillion sea animals are executed every year, many of whom are torn from their ocean habitats where they are dumped onto fishing boats to suffer and die. Millions of tons of these animals are discarded each year as bycatch and are thrown back into the water to die. Hundreds of thousands of these animals include dolphins, sea turtles, whales, shark and other sea animals. Around 52% of the fish humans eat are raised on fish farms where they live in large overcrowded cages in their own excrement, increasing the prevalence of disease and are subjected to cruel and brutal deaths. Now this Good Morning Britain interview just gets more and more interesting when the interviewer brings in a dog that was rescued from a dog meat farm Simon helped to shut down. Um, but not so long ago you donated quite a sum of money to help shut down a dog meat farm. One of those dogs on the dog meat farm that was rescued was little Robin, who I adopted, and he is here to meet you. Oh, God, that. Take it. He's ever so friendly. <laughs> okay, let's no, say hello. Look at that. Campaigns, yeah. really. Without people like you, he'd basically be in someone's stomach. <gasps> Don't. Yeah. Oh. Now you think about that. Okay, now again, Simon's doing some great work here for dogs, but the hypocrisy here is just astounding. Without you, he'd be in someone's stomach? Well, Simon, you put suffered animal bodies in your stomach every day. Living sea animals who are tortured, murdered and dismembered, and their remains are stuffed into your McDonald's Philodo fish meal, digested and flushed down the toilet. Simon works to end dog meat farms, but financially supports cruel fish farms and fishing boats. Okay, so don't these sea animals matter morally? Don't the animals discarded as bycatch matter morally either? In another interview with ITV, Simon describes eating dogs like eating your friend. It's like eating your friend. The fact that you're eating, you know, such a kind, helpless, sweet animal, it's... 
Now, Simon, I get why you focus your time on dogs. You see them as companions because of your cultural conditioning, but many people don't see dogs as friends. Some cultures see them as food. I think we need to steer away from placing our own arbitrary value on animals based on our cultural conditioning and start treating animals with respect based on their intrinsic value. If these beings are conscious, have the ability to suffer and experience well-being, then we should treat them accordingly. You advocate for the rights of dogs, which is honourable, but you then pay for intelligent, sentient beings like fish to be hooked in the face and cut up into pieces for a meaningless, fleeting meal. The problem I see with many people is they falsely see veganism as a fad diet to lose weight or get healthy, but veganism is a philosophy that seeks to exclude exploitation and cruelty to non-human animals as far as is possible and practicable. It's not a fad diet, it's an ethical principle. So Simon, why would you love one and pay to cause needless harm to another? How can you campaign against cruelty while simultaneously causing extreme suffering and death to sea life? Yes, dogs are seen as companions, but does that mean we shouldn't extend a similar amount of moral consideration to other animals who experience pain in a similar way? And look, I'm not suggesting you give up your life for these animals. I'm just asking you to stop eating their flesh and using products made from their bodies. And Simon has already shown he can make ethical decisions that help animals, and is even willing to donate large sums of money to stop cruelty. And Simon has also shown he can make lifestyle changes when he needs to. And his mantra is, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. Well, Simon, going vegan is not that difficult either. It's a simple lifestyle change that makes a huge difference. So, Simon, thank you for all your work for dogs. It's a noble cause. But please, leave the fish alone. Let them live in peace and be vegan. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace. And it was a dog meat farm where there was 200 dogs. And, um, God, I start getting filling up when I talk about it. I know. Because two of the two dogs I've also adopted from the dog meat trade. You are amazing, by the way. Thank you, because but I just do my, I don't, I do my best to promote the message. Um, anyway.